More than 500 former child residents of the Youth Detention Center are suing the state. Allegations are that between 1960 and 2018, children were beaten, raped, and tortured by state employees. We were children. We didn't know anything. Half of us didn't have families. They were able to do whatever they wanted to us. The legislature is crafting a bill to create a settlement process outside the civil court system. A bill just passed out of Senate Finance Committee heads to the floor Thursday. The $100 million fund that is established in this bill is unprecedented in New Hampshire's history and reflects the importance that the Senate is placing on making sure that the victims are compensated for their suffering while in state custody. But critics say the bill falls short in three critical areas. One, that it excludes victims of non-physical abuse. Why should, you know, sexual assault be there, but not solitary, solitary confinement or emotional abuse? They say it caps settlements at levels well below the national average and forces victims that opt for the process to sign away their right to go to civil court. We encourage the Senate, in fact, to reconsider this bill. In its current form, it is not something that we, in good faith, can encourage victims to use. It is not a victim-centered alternative to a court proceeding. Now, the governor said today that he would support a change to the bill to add non-physical contact forms of abuse, but if that happens, it would have to come in the form of a floor amendment tomorrow when it goes to the full Senate. Reporting live, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.